Hi, this is Amy from The Connection We Share, and in this video I'm going to show you two blurred photo book examples, and I'm going to show you the quality of the books, um, how I put them together, and the options that are available to you when you go and create your books. Now I realize this is a video, so to see the close-ups of these books is kind of hard, so I took pictures of the details, and you can see them on the blog, and the link to these pictures is below this video. Okay, so let's continue our blur photo book review. Um, this book is a collection of images of my kids from last year. And because my son was born earlier in the year, it just makes sense to start off the book with his birth or when he's a newborn. And so um, in this book, um, you can see I use different layouts um, for all my images. And I also used a text option. So this is what I did with it. Um, I So every month um, I would label how many months um, he is. So I would remember. And I also wrote down um, fun things about the kids when um, um, at this age. So my, my daughter turned three and I just wrote down a list of things that she loves to do. Like she loves to put random things in her bags and she had tons and tons of bags that she put random toys in. Um, she loves to share her fishy crackers and she likes to jump on leaves and she loves to wear three dresses at a time with no pants. These are just things that I think I'll forget when I get older and I think that these are things that my daughter would love to know what she was like when she was a child. So I write these down for her and um, it's just a great way to have the stuff in print. So you have it with print and pictures of the kids. And then I also did it for Jay um, when he was nine months of things that he loves to do. And so this book here, um, it's a standard landscape book. Um, it's 10 inches by eight inches. Um, it's quite a good size book. Um, for me, um, this one here has uh, 128 pages. Um, it has about 400 pictures, I think. Now I upgraded um, to a hardcover and I also upgraded the to a premium paper. So this premium paper is a slightly thicker paper than the regular paper and I would really recommend upgrading to a better, better paper because these books are meant to well, for me anyway, um, these books, I want to have them when I'm old and I want to be able to look back to remember what my kids were like. And I'm sure my kids' kids, they would want to know what their parents are like too. So um, I, I want these to last. I want these um, to be heirloom pieces, which is why I went with a thicker paper and um, the hardcover, which for sure would last. Now, um, I opted for um, a standard black hardcover with... Um, uh, the this um, dust jacket here. Um, Blurb also has an other option for a hardcover where they will print an image directly onto onto the book for you. So you don't have the dust jacket flapping around. So it's just personal preference. I think it's the same price. And um, and this is their standard black. Um, and now there is an option um, for um, what is called an end sheet. Um, the standard is a mid gray, which is this one. So th this piece of paper here is an end sheet. So this is a standard mid gray. Um, I didn't upgrade this one um, just because I didn't feel like there was a need to. Um, the price of this book, um, so this is um, 128 pages um, and I upgraded to the hardcover and I upgraded um, to a premium matte finished paper and all for the price of $61 small price to pay for an heirloom book for an heirloom book that I my family and I would enjoy for years and years. Okay, so this is book number 2 of this blurb photo book review. Um this is a small book of pictures of my son when he was first born. Um I created this book with a designer template in the um, blurred photo book online system. Um, they have a few designer templates that you can use and they're really simple, really, really, really easy to use. Um, this one that I um, have here, I used the Zurich template um, because I just found that it's got the most white space for me, which is what I like. And um, I did it online and I probably did it in under an hour. And the reason why it took me so long was because I was trying to decide what images to put in here. So it's definitely a really easy system to use. Now this book is a small seven inch square. Um, it's hardcover. It's a hardcover again, and it's got a dust jacket. Now with this book, um, I just wanted to try something different. So I, I was going for a really airy 
feel for the book. And so I upgraded to the oatmeal linen. So it's just um, this natural beigey looking color. Um, I love the texture on here. This is real fabric. Um, and um, I also upgraded the end sheets to white. Um, whereas you saw in my other book, the end sheets were gray. Um, so I just upgraded to white. And then I also upgraded the paper. Now this, um, because all my images are in black and white here, um, I chose the um, blurb has this photo paper called um, Proline Pearl Photo Paper. And this isn't just regular paper. So this is actually photo paper and it's much thicker than the standard and even the premium paper from the other books. And you, I know you can't tell, but there is a metallic sheen to um, to this photo paper. So the, so the images really jump off the page and the quality of the photo is so much better too because this is actual photo paper, not just um, regular paper. So um, there's a different quality to the photos. With the cost of this book, um, so there's 32 pages in, uh, in this book. Um, this is a hardcover. Um, I upgraded to the oatmeal linen. Um, and I upgraded to the white end sheet and with, I upgraded to the pearl photo paper. Um, for all that, it's um, $49. Um, again, it's a small price to pay for something I'll treasure until I'm old. And this is something that will for sure get passed down to my kids. So my advice is don't be cheap. Um, go with the upgrades and make this book as durable as you can. So I just showed you two blur photo book examples um, with options that are available and um, the prices. So if you are a first time blurb user, they are offering you 15% off um, on the creation of your first book. And also once in a while, blurb will come up with a some kind of promo or coupon code. Um, and I always let my readers know when this is happening. So make sure you sign up for my newsletter. The link is below. Sign up for my newsletter and I will send you an email when um, something like this is happening so you can take advantage of it. Now, if you enjoy this video, um, on my blog, blog.theconnectionweshare.com, um, myself and other professional photographers offers tips to help you take better photos of your kids. So they give me tips like um, how to get your kids to smile. So be sure to check that out and I'll see you next time.